A diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles. So we are given a parallelogram. And we need to prove that the two triangles are congruent, the diagonals divided into two triangles. So if we have this diagonal AC, the two triangles that we get here are triangle ABC, we have to prove is congruent to triangle CDA. And if we have the triangle DB, now we need to show that uh, triangle ABD congruent to triangle CDB. So let's start with the proof. Now in a parallelogram, the opposite sides are parallel. So we have DC is parallel to AB. And if DC is parallel to AB, I can see this angle is equal to this angle. I am drawing my Z. So we take the first set. So again I just repeat, they have DC parallel to AB. And hence these two angles will be equal by alternate angles. I am making my Z here. So I'll write that we have uh, DC parallel to AB. Therefore, I'll put this as angle 1 and angle 2. So angle 1 equal to angle 2 alternate angles. Now we have another pair of parallel lines. AD is parallel to BC. And if AD is parallel to BC, see my Z that I'm drawing, alternate angles. I'll have this angle equal to this angle. So I'll name them as 3 and 4. So if AD is parallel to BC, I have angle 3 equal to angle 4. Also alternate angles. And we have common, we have one side that is common, AC is common, AC equal to AC common. So the triangles are congruent, triangle ABC congruent to triangle CDA by ASA test. In the same way, we can prove the other two triangles are, com uh, are congruent. To prove the other two triangles, you have this diagonal, and we need to prove the two triangles congruent. So we draw Z. We have these lines parallel, AC, uh, AD, this is. So we write D here. Here we have these two uh, alternate angles. And then on the other side, here are parallel. So we have these alternate angles and the common. So these two triangles are also congruent by ASA test. We have here this A equal to this A, this A equal to this A, and the S is common. So by ASA test, the other two triangles also are congruent. So we can say triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CDB by ASA test. In a parallelogram, prove opposite sides are equal. This question is exactly like the other earlier one. So given ABCD is a parallelogram and here we need to prove that the opposite sides are equal. Who are the opposite sides? One side is DC and AB so we need to prove they are equal. 
AB equal to DC and the other side parallel or opposite sides are AD and BC. So we need to prove AD equal to BC. So we go ahead with the proof. We consider the same triangles and we show that they are congruent. We had DC parallel to AB and because DC was parallel to A AB we drew the Z we had the alternate angles equal this angle equal to this angle and we mark that as 1 and 2 so we have DC parallel to AB and the reason opposite sides of parallelogram so we have angle 1 equal to angle 2 alternate angles Then we have the other set of parallel lines, AD parallel to BC. And because AD was parallel to BC, the alternate angles were equal. How do we do the alternate angles? We may draw the Z. So I have these two angles equal. So which is 3 equal to 4. So I have taken here AD parallel to BC. Reason opposite sides of parallelogram. So angle 3 equal to angle 4. Alternate angles. And then we had the common. We had AC that was common. AC equal to AC. And this is common. So now the triangles will be congruent. The triangle ABC will be congruent to triangle CDA. And now for the corresponding angles, we know AB should be equal to CD by CPCT. AB equal to CD, CPCT. And uh, here we'll have BC will be equal to DA. So BC equal to DA also CPCT. And we have proved this and this we have proved. AB equal to DC and AD equal to BC proved. Theorem 8.3 on page 140. If each pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is equal then it is a parallelogram so each sides opposite sides are given equal so given we have a b c d is a quadrilateral now it is not given parallelogram remember it is just given an ordinary quadrilateral but there's something special in this quadrilateral and they are saying the opposite sides are equal so they've given d c equal to a b and they have given a d equal to BC. So let's write that. Opposite sides equal means DC equal to AB and uh, AD equal to BC. Opposite sides equal. We need to prove it's a parallelogram. Prove ABCD is a parallelogram. To prove any quadrilateral is a parallelogram, we need to prove opposite sides are parallel. And to prove any two lines are parallel, we have to show alternate angles are equal. So let's start first with what is given to us. We know DC is equal to AB. So I'll write DC equal to AB given. And uh, AD equal to BC is also given. So AD equal to BC given. And the one that's common, AC is common. So the two triangles are congruent by SSS test. And which triangles are these? ABC would be congruent to triangle to CD 
A. So here we have to write in triangle A, B, C and triangle C, D, A. Now if these triangles are equal, their corresponding angles must be equal. So let's mark the corresponding angles. Now the A here will be equal to the C of this. So let's mark that the A of one will be equal to the C of the other. Let's name them. So D, A, C will be equal to A, C, B. So I'll write that angle D, A, C equal to angle A, C, B by C, P, C, T. But these are alternate angles. These are alternate angles. If they are alternate angles means the lines must be parallel. So which line here we have these two one will be parallel. So we have AD parallel to BC. Now again these two angles also will be equal. Here you can see the C Oh, it's not there, it's here. C and the A will be equal. So if these two angles are equal, which means we have this Z now. This line will be parallel to this line. So we'll write uh, angle DCA is equal to angle BAC by CPCT. But these are alternate angles. And if they are alternate angle, we can say DC parallel to AB. Now our ABCD becomes a parallelogram because we showed the opposite sides are equal. We have first showed AD parallel to BC, and now we have shown AD. Uh, we have shown DC parallel to AB. AD parallel to we showed first AD parallel to BC. And now we are showing DC parallel to AB. Therefore, ABCD is a parallelogram. And I think you know what reason to write. Since opposite lines, opposite sides are parallel. The quadrilateral, opposite sides are parallel. The quadrilateral becomes a parallelogram. Just to go over it again. This was given equal, AB was equal to DC and we had AD was equal to BC and AC is common. So the triangles were uh, congruent by SSS. So I had this angle equal to this angle by CPCT. Therefore they are alternate angles so this was now parallel. And on the other side then we had, we could by CPCT these two also were equal which means this line and this line will be parallel. Opposite sides are parallel. The quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Theorem 8.6, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So to prove the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other, basically we need to prove OD equal to OB and we need to prove OA equal to OC. Let me just repeat that again. I have to show OC equal to OA and on this side I have to show OD equal to OB. And the strategy is the same. We are going to take two triangles, prove that they are congruent and by CPCT we will say these parts are equal. So given ABCD is a parallelogram Diagonals, there are two diagonals and they bisect at O. Diagonals AC and BD bisect at O. We need to prove that they, uh, they just intersect at O. I can't say they bisect because that's what I need to prove. So I just have to say they intersect at O. I need to prove that diagonals bisect means I have to show OC equal to OA and my OD 
equal to O B. So I take two triangles. I am going to take the triangle A D O, this triangle here A D O and this triangle and prove that they are congruent. And now you will have guessed, you know why, do you know why these two angles are equal? Because they are alternate angles of the, this line of AD and BC. And on the other side I can see these two angles are equal. They too are alternate angles of the same two lines but different transversal. And then I have AD equal to BC, opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. So the triangles will be now congruent by A by A S A A S A test. So in triangle, I'm going to take triangle O D A and the other triangle is O B C and prove that they are congruent. So I have D equal to B. So I'll write angle, it's better to understand, I'll put a 1 and 2. So I'll put angle 1, angle 2. Angle 1 equal to angle 2, the alternate angles. Before that I got to mention which lines are parallel. Which are the lines I'm considering here? Here I'm considering AD parallel to BC. So I'll write AD parallel to BC. Therefore, angle 1 equal to angle 2. Alternate angles. Then again, I have these two. These two angles equal. They two are alternate angles. So here I'll put 3 and 4 for the same lines parallel. Here AD parallel to BC. Therefore, angle 3 equal to angle 4, alternate angles. And common, AD common to BC. So I have AD equal, not common, equal to BC. Why is AD equal to BC? Opposite sides of parallelogram. So the triangles are congruent by ASA test. So triangle ODA congruent to triangle OBC by ASA test. Now if they are equal by CPCT, just look here the CPCT. I can say OD equal to OB by CPCT. OD equal to OB CPCT. And I can also now say OA equal to OC. OA equal to OC, CP, CT. And that's exactly what I needed to prove here. And I have proved. So I can say the diagonals, the diagonals in a parallelogram bisect. Theorem 8.7, if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other, then it is a parallelogram. So we are given a quadrilateral, say A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. And this is a special quadrilateral where the diagonals bisect. What do you mean by diagonals bisect? means I can say OC equal to OA and OD equal to OB. This is given to me. So let me write that. OA equal to OC and OD equal to OB. If that's the case, I have to prove it's a parallelogram. So prove ABCD is a parallelogram. To prove ABCD is a parallelogram, all I have to do is show that these opposite sides, this is my question, to show the opposite sides are parallel. 
I have to show this is parallel to this and AD parallel to B, uh, BC. And how do you show any two lines are parallel? You have to show the alternate angles are equal. So let's start with the proof. It is given to us that OC equal to OA. So I'm going to mark that OC equal to OA. OC equal to OA and this is given. We also have OD equal to OB. So OD equal to OB also given. And this is common. And are common vertically opposite. These two angles are vertically opposite. That is angle DOC equal to angle BOA. Vertically opposite angles. So the triangles are congruent by SAS test. Which triangles? Triangle DC, this triangle DCO and this triangle are congruent because we have just showed the side equal to this side. Then we have showed OD equal to OB and these are common. This is common. So let me write that. So triangle DOC is congruent to triangle BOA by SAS test. So in the beginning I've got to say in triangle DOC and triangle BOA. Now if these triangles are congruent we must say their angles are equal. Though. So which angle will be equal? Have you seen here the D will be equal to the B. So let's mark that. Here is the D equal to the B. And if D is equal to the B, they are alternate angles. So I will write three letters. So C, D, O equal to angle A, B, O. And that is C, P, C, T. These are alternate angles. Now, if they are alternate angles, that means these two lines are parallel. We can say DC parallel to AB. In the similar manner, I won't prove this, but in the similar manner, I can show AD parallel to BC. So I'll write similarly, prove AD parallel to BC. So we got two sets of parallel lines now. We got first we have showed DC parallel to AB and now we have shown AD parallel to BC. So therefore ABCD is parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel. Let's quickly go over these again. So I took these two triangles here and I took this triangle and I show that they're congruent. How do I show they're congruent? OC equal to OA and on this side we have OD equal to OB vertically opposite angle. By SSS test, the SAS test, the triangles are congruent. Then we went to CPCT. By CPCT these two are equal and if they are equal I can say here parallel. Similarly by taking another set of triangles I can show this angle is equal to this angle by taking this triangle and this triangle and showing that they are congruent in the same way. So now I have AD parallel to BC. So if the opposite sides are parallel, the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. In triangle ABC, DEF respectively are the midpoints of AB, BC, CA. Show that triangle ABC is divided into four congruent triangles by joining D, E and F. So first we have three midpoints. Let's mark the midpoints. Here D is a midpoint of AB, F is a midpoint of AC and E is the midpoint of BC. So I'm first going to take up, I'm first going to take up that uh, D is midpoint of Uh, 
midpoint of AB and I know F is midpoint given to me of AC this is given so I can now use midpoint theorem this is one midpoint this is the other midpoint so when you join now your DF your DF will be parallel to BC so let me mark that parallel we have another set of midpoints we know F is a midpoint and we have E is a midpoint so let's write that F is midpoint of AC and E is also midpoint of BC so again midpoint theorem so EF will be parallel to BT so I'll write now EF parallel to BD we earlier have shown that D E D F parallel to B B so do you have a parallelogram here yes we have a parallelogram so this is our parallelogram we have D F E B is our parallelogram so let me write that therefore B E F D is parallelogram why opposite sides are parallel now we know the properties of a parallelogram the diagonal of the parallelogram which is BD divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles so we say diagonal we have DE is a diagonal and the diagonal of the parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles so I can say triangle B E D is congruent to triangle F D E so this triangle here and this two triangles will be congruent similarly if I take D as midpoint E as midpoint I will get here D E parallel to FC and on this side if I take E midpoint F midpoint which I've already shown DF parallel to EC so again I have another parallelogram and this parallelogram is now DEFC this is a parallelogram and if it is a parallelogram this would be my the diagonal of the parallelogram and then these two triangles will be congruent so you don't need to write all this you can say similarly prove we prove that uh, DFCE is parallelogram and if that is the case we can now write that FDE triangle FDE is congruent to triangle to ECF and we can show yet another parallelogram here I will take D midpoint and E midpoint hence DE parallel to FE and on the other side if I take this midpoint and here midpoint I will write AD parallel to so one another parallelogram so I have A D F E is a parallelogram and in this parallelogram I have this side the diagonal DF and in a parallelogram the diagonal divides into two congruent triangles so this triangle again is congruent to the same triangle this middle triangle so we write A D E F is parallelogram therefore triangle same middle triangle we take the triangle as F D E we keep it as F D E is congruent to triangle to D F A so we have 
prove these two triangles. Earlier we proved also that uh, this here, the same triangle was congruent to this triangle here. And then in another one, we again prove this same triangle congruent to this triangle. So all the four triangles are congruent. So we can put all these together, one, two, three together, and say triangle BED congruent to triangle FDE congruent to triangle ECF congruent to triangle DFA. All the four triangles are congruent. We'll just go over this again. Uh, we took midpoint uh, theorem, midpoint, midpoint, and uh, here also midpoint, midpoint, and we showed parallelogram. This was one parallelogram here. And this was the diagonal of the parallelogram. And then we said these two triangles were congruent. Then we had another parallelogram, midpoint, midpoint. So here DF parallel. And here these two midpoints. So here we have parallel. So here another diagonal. So again, in this green parallelogram, these two triangles will be congruent. And then we had the last one. We proved here midpoint, midpoint, and then we showed that this is also a parallelogram. And if that is the case, now we had this triangle and this. So all these triangles were or congruent to the middle triangle DEF. So all four are congruent. L, M and N are three parallel lines intersected by a transversal PQ such that L, M, N cut off equal intersects, intercepts AB and BC on P. Show that L, M and N cut off equal intercepts D and EF on Q also. So here we are given three parallel lines this is one parallel line, L, parallel to M, parallel to Q. This is one thing. Then there is one transversal. Here this transversal is given to us. And now this transversal, the lines make equal intercepts on the transversal, which means this AB is equal to BC. If that is the case, if they're saying if AB is equal to AC, that means we need to prove that DE equal to EF, equal to the other two intercepts. So this is equal to this. D equal to EF. That is what we need to prove. So given we will say L parallel to M parallel to N, P, Q are transversals. And AB intercept AB equal to intercept BC to prove the other two intercepts, that is DE equal to EF. We need to show this DE equal to, I'll just put it a little thicker, I need to show DE equal to EF. So for this I'll first take up the triangle ACF, this triangle. So let me write that in triangle ACF. One midpoint is given to us. B is a midpoint. How do we know B is a midpoint? Because look at this. They gave us the intercepts are equal. They've given us AB equal to BC. This is they have given us. So B is midpoint of AC. And a parallel line is given. Which is a parallel line? Here is a parallel line passing. This line parallel to this is given to us. Now if, so we are going to use midpoint theorem. We have given a midpoint and L is parallel to N. So if we proceed this further, we can say that G is also midpoint by converse of midpoint theorem. Therefore, G is midpoint of AF. Reason, 
converse midpoint theorem so we got g as a midpoint of af which means ag equal to gf so let's write that ag equal to gf and we're going to take the other triangle now it's time to take the other side this triangle and use the same theorem so we now take triangle AFD we already had a midpoint this was already given as a midpoint which we have proved not given we proved and the, this line was parallel if you remember they have given this lines parallel so when you proceed further you will definitely have E also as the midpoint so here we have M is parallel to L that was given and midpoint was given that is AG or I'll write the midpoint G was midpoint of G is midpoint of AF that is we have proved it therefore now I can say that E is midpoint of DF by converse midpoint theorem if E is a midpoint means now DE equal to EF this will be equal if E is a midpoint so I'll write DE equal to EF and I have proved see this is what we were asked to prove basically in the sum what we did we took this triangle and we use converse midpoint why, why did we have to use converse midpoint so one midpoint was given here this was a midpoint and a line parallel was given this parallel line was given parallel to so if we, we are, if we are given a midpoint and parallel line if we proceed further we can say that this is midpoint here which means now equal then we took up the other side we took up this triangle and we use the same midpoint this was midpoint given and we had a line that is parallel this was parallel therefore we could say that E is the midpoint this E is a midpoint and if E is the midpoint I can say the D E equal to E F we are equal